Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to test our RetroBand run flat device. We are so confident in this product that we brought our founders, Rob Craig and Brett Davis. If you're wondering how we came up with the name RetroBand, so it's both of their names combined, the R-E-T-T -T from Brett and the R-O-B from Rob. So we have a RetroBand run flat device and we have a brand new 2022 Integra Cornerstone on 365's 605 engine, attach a, an explosive device to the tire and we are so confident in this product that they're actually going to be the driver and co-pilot while we're doing this testing. Now, I'm not gonna be in the coach because someone's gotta run the shop if anything happens to that, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sure that it's gonna be great. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about why you're so confident in the product, Rob. We've designed something specifically for these heavy coaches running on aluminum wheels. That's aluminum for us, you, you know, yeah. USers. <laughs> and uh, we all have a fear when we're rolling down the highway at 70 mile an hour and you've, you've got something 54 odd thousand pounds in weight and 21,000 pounds up the front end. Should you get a blowout on a front wheel, the only thing you can do is panic and hold on without any safety device at all. So we've created the retro band specifically for these heavy coaches. You'll be able to drive this thing on the band and feel confident as we are and we're going to do it. We're going to show you how it's done today. You kind of know a little bit about this coach, right, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> this coach is actually near and dear to my heart. It's actually the very same floor plan I live in full time, a uh, Cornerstone D. And it is brand spanking new. Came straight from the factory. Still has the protective tape along the chrome. The only sad part is we're going to be blowing a big hole in a brand new 365. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we ready to get to business then? Sure are. Ready to eat our cooking, sure Rob? <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, Brett, we've come a long way with this retro band. Now we've got the chance to demonstrate it on an Integra Cornerstone with the big 21,000 pound um, axle on front. I'm not aware of any run flat device blowing any size tires or coaches at speed, much less a K3 chassis. Most people just deflate the tire and go driving, and, uh, and which is not the same as being on the road. And, in our case, we're trying to simulate what would happen in the event of a blowout, as many people have, and a lot of people are not as um, agile or uh, alert as others to be able to handle the event when it happens. Put it on cruise at 70 miles an hour. I don't have my foot anywhere near the brake or the accelerator. No, just let it go. We're in the in the hands of the guy working the explosives now. They'll blow the tire and we'll see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. <laughs> What was that noise, Brett? I don't know, but I didn't feel a thing. Boy, it smells like burnt rubber in here. Yeah, feel all the tire, the tire will be shredding, but at least we're sitting off the ground on the retro band. Yeah, we better just get it over here because there might not be much left of that tire, Brett, and it'll be flying everywhere. We're gonna have full stop at the end of the corner here, uh, right across. Good work. Uh, how'd it feel? I didn't feel anything. Well, here we are back at the shop at National Indoor RV Centers in Louisville, Texas, and we brought along the tire. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty yeah. impressive when you see it like this, right? I think a lot of people will think, well, of course, that's what happens when you have a charge in the tire. We had you and I, a dear friend and customer, Steve Beck, we both heard from him on the same day, July, July 3rd, 3rd <laughs> on I-75 in Ohio, and his blowout is every bit as bad, if not worse than this. And luckily, luckily they had RetroBand on their coach, so they had similar outcome that we had in Nevada, which was a blessing. So Brett, what were you thinking? What Were you nervous? I know I was nervous for you and Rob, <laughs> and obviously not in the coach, so. <laughs> yes, I was nervous. Um, he was we, playing it cool. <laughs> when we take a look at the footage, the test track they had us on, there was no shoulder whatsoever. 
you were there. That was a four foot drop off into a dry ditch. There really was no area for forgiveness. If, if it didn't perform as we had hoped, if the rim had hit the road, you would have been in that ravine and the, the coach would have turned over. Oh, the four foot drop, the coach would have rolled immediately. So no, yeah. that's, that was in the back of my head, but it happened too fast to have a reaction. We're talking a millisecond. Yes, I read the forms. I read everyone who says you're supposed to hit the accelerator. I think you'd probably just be trying that to- split second, I'd like to see the man who does it. <laughs> now, maybe after he's veered into another lane, right. realizes what's going on, he'll try and hit right. his accelerator. But by then it's usually too late. Right. Well, to me, this is the most important camera of all the cameras we use. It's mounted to the fender, as you can tell. It is super slow motion. The little silver plate and the wires coming off, if anybody's wondering, that's what they're using to detonate the charge. The reason this one was most interesting to me is we'd be able to see any movement in the tire or wheel at the time of detonation. So as you see, the tire explodes and there's very little movement. I was shocked that there wasn't more of a drop. Um, there's a small drop, but really the coach did not veer from where you were in the lane at all. I was so amazed when I watched the footage of you and, and Rob is that literally the steering wheel didn't move, your hands didn't move. You really didn't, your reaction was not nearly as fun as I thought it should be. <laughs> <laughs> I really expected you to at least, you know, jump a little and you didn't. So that means that the only thing that even alerted you that something happened was the sound, the sound. and the smell. The sound, the smell definitely confirmed <laughs> it. You know, after something like this happens and you reflect on it, the four things that ran through my mind and really in this order was how dang loud the explosion was. <laughs> I bet. Between the charge and the tire blowing, it left my ears ringing. The second thing I felt was a slight drop of the coat. It felt like I'd hit a small chuck hole. It just kind of dropped a little. So a non-event. <laughs> it was a non-event because I third felt nothing in the steering wheel and the fourth sense that I remember is the cockpit immediately smelling like burnt rubber. Well, and that's what I was so amazed when I watched the footage of you and, and Rob, is that literally the steering wheel didn't move, your hands didn't move, you really didn't, your reaction was not nearly as fun as I thought it should be. <laughs> <laughs> I really expected you to at least, you know, jump a little and you didn't. The other amazing thing was when I looked at the footage from the drone, the coach did not veer out of the lane mm. at all, did not pull towards the inside um, since it was the driver's um, front tire. That was really impressive as well. Um, we saw that it was a non-invent inside the coach, but from the drone footage, it, it just kept on going. Well, it was a non-invent and this was on a uh, very heavy coach. They don't, unless you get into a bus conversion, they don't come any heavier. Well. I'm really glad that you and Rob survived this test. <laughs> so now I know our viewers are dying to see how the retro band fared. So let's go ahead and get this tire off. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to give you permission to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Thank, Thank you. you. So we've got Jack here, chassis tech at National Indoor RV Centers. Also, he's a great pit master, I hear. I try to be. I try to be. <laughs> That's big stuff in Texas. One of the things that you may or may not know, but Retroband does have a lifetime guarantee. So if you have a blowout with Retroband on your tire, we will give you a new Retroband. So if you happen to have a blowout, you'll take off the Retroband, replace the tire, keep the Retroband, bring it to us, and... We'll get it in. We'll get your new Retroband that we have. We're not gonna use the old one and we'll uh, reinstall it for you guys. Okay, we're gonna take the tire off so you can see how Retroband fared. And then I will have Jack install Retroband so you can see how we install it as well. So here's the back side of the blown tire. Mm -hmm. 
And before we go any further, I just wanted to like, how, how do I know that the retro band is fully intact? So one, this usually is the sign that we've gotten. Both sides are gonna kind of look like this when we kind of get them together. Okay, because that's fully, the gearbox that brings. Yeah, they're fully not gonna close, but that box is, you know, closed up for it. And I can even check with the tire iron that it will not move. Yeah. Okay, so it is fully intact. Yes. It looks like the retro band's moving actually. It's just, I'm actually it's moving just the whole rim in the tire. Muscle. Yeah, trying to. <laughs> I think it's important to note a few weight specifications. This aluminum wheel is rated to 10,500 pounds. However, Retroband has been tested at 75 miles per hour and withstood sudden impacts of 30,000 pounds, almost three times what the tire or the wheel are rated for. So Jack, you've got the Retroband taken off yep. and we've got it laying here. To me, it looks almost exactly like the brand new set. And unbelievable that there was actually a blowout on that Retroband. Oh yeah, the only kind of difference I see is on the outer side, you're gonna have a little bit more wear and tear just because it was carrying a whole, yeah. you know, Integra Cornerstone <laughs> after it uh, had the blowout. Right, So right. that's about it. Like you don't, you're not gonna lose any kind of right. rubber on the outside. And on these version twos, you have the, uh, steel band that actually holds these pins in. So when the gearboxes actually do pull in these pins in, when that's actually driving, the centrifugal force is not gonna pull the band apart. Or when you have a blowout, it's gonna withstand it and it's gonna hold like it did in demonstration. So we've got a lifetime warranty on Retroband. So let's go ahead and take that brand new uh, set and install it on the tires. And as we do that, as you do that, I'm gonna let him do all the work. Um, I will kind of walk through the benefits and features of Retroband. The Retroband is made from two halves of hardened rubber, which is reinforced by a stainless steel band inside, which runs from pin to pin. A metal pin is inserted through both the Retroband and the stainless steel band inside the Retroband, and then lined up to allow access of the threaded bolt. This is done on each side of both halves of the Retroband, four pins in all. A threaded bolt and gearbox is used to join the two halves of the Retroband together. The gearbox is lightly turned or cranked to make a secure connection. Next, the wheel is prepped for Retroband. The tire mounting lubricant is applied around the tire as well as the aluminum wheel to aid in both the dismounting and reinstallation of the tire without damaging the bead of the tire. The Retroband, held together by a single gearbox and threaded bolt, is placed gently inside the tire. Once inside, a threaded bolt and gearbox is added to the other side, and the gearbox is cranked a little more to bring the two halves yet closer together. Anti-seize is applied to the threaded bolt on both sides of both gearboxes. Due to changes in temperature, moisture is created inside of every tire. While the threaded bolt, gearbox, and pins are coated to prevent any rust, the anti-seize is an added measure of protection to prevent the threaded bolt from ever seizing up should any rust occur over time. Now, the wheel is rotated to the opposite side and the other gearbox and bolt are tightened. Jack will go back and forth, tightening each side a little at a time. The reason for the back and forth tightening of each side is because we're bringing two semicircles together with a straight bolt. The two halves must come together equally to prevent any bending of the threaded bolt. Once both sides have been tightened to 25 pound foot of torque, the tire is inflated just enough to seat the bead. After the bead has been seated, extra care is taken to finish inflating the tire inside of a protective cage. The tire will be inflated to the manufacturer's specifications based on the actual front end weight of the coach when it's fully loaded. I've seen this guy work all day today. This is hard work, little warning. Don't try this at home. This is super heavy and you're not just sweating because it's hot out here, right? <laughs> no. So it's installed. Now you're going to balance it. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I have to balance the tire, the wheel and tire after I installed the retro band before I can mount it on the newel behind us. Great. And we are mounting it on great customers of ours. Uh, Chris and Tammy will now be protected by Retroband. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to do this with us. Now that you've seen how Retroband performs, I'm sure you're wondering how it differs from other run flat devices on the market. Rob Craig has worked with all the other run flat devices out there on the market in his 35 years providing run flat devices for armored vehicles. The other run flat devices 
are designed to keep the tire on the rim. Retroband is designed to sit above the rim, your rim never touching the pavement, which is key. One of the things that would really take the motorhome out of your control. If you look to my first video, you can see where I compared a military run flat device to retroband. With a military run flat device, they are designed to withstand a um, projectile like a bullet. They are tested on a deflated tire and they're designed to get you out of a kill zone. So very different from a motorhome where we tested it at speed, 70 miles per hour, with a catastrophic blowout. You may think what's good for the military would be sufficient for you and your motorhome. It's not the case. The weight is completely different. The heaviest armored vehicle that's on tires is half the weight of a motorhome. And with a motorhome and a catastrophic blowout, you're gonna have an impact of, you know, on this big Class A diesel, like 21,000 pounds instantly. So you wanna have something that you can ride on, that's going to keep you safely on the road. And as you can see in our test, the motorhome didn't even veer out of its lane. I hope we have proven to you how Retroband is different than any other run flat device out there on the market. We specifically made it for motorhomes. With our volume, the amount of customers we have, unfortunately we've had customers that have had front end blowouts. These are actual photos of our customers, their coaches, and tragically some of them had very sad endings. Since introducing Retroband, we have had several customers that have had front end blowouts and literally their experience has been the same as Brett and Rob's. They have been able to safely get to the side of the road. They've been able to maintain control of their coach. We have had no tragic endings and that's what it's all about for us at National Indoor RV Centers. We truly love our customers. We want you to be able to enjoy the RV and lifestyle for as long as possible and as safely as possible. Don't delay in calling us. If you are interested in this tested and proven product and you want to protect your family and this wonderful RVing lifestyle, please give us a call or visit our website www.retroband.com. We want to hear from, we want to take care of our customers. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.